What is good, y'all? It's your boy Westby502, one fifth of the live movement network here. Back with another another tip video. We are looking at the 41 corners offense. Now, this is another new offensive set they added to the game. Highly recommend you guys check it out. I recommend you guys check out all the offensive sets they added to the game. Don't don't be uh stuck in your ways and keep running the same three two high and four one low from the previous NBA lives. Even though they're they are good offenses to run, uh explore. You know, you know, expand your game. In this clip, now there's no Kyrie in any of these clips. I feel like in the forty one corners, uh I was kind of taking him out of the game. Uh, I feel like Kyrie thrives more in that five out, four one low type of offense. But let's check out the forty one corners. And here's the setup. Well, it's, that's not the complete setup, but you got a guy at the top of the key, a guy on the elbow, and then your big is at the high post area with another guy at the elbow, and then you have and you see Jalen Brown going to the corner. So we make the first pass to Morris, and then Rozier is going to come set a screen for Marcus Morris, all right? And on the other side, you see a double screen being set for Jalen Brown. But Golden State being Golden State, they lock that up. Now, anybody that's not a real good ball handler, if they got the ball on the perimeter, I try to get it out their hands as quick as possible. Uh, so we get it to Brown. So we just flip the offense, basically. Okay, we just flip the offense. Now, we re uh, we reset. We got nine seconds left. We get it to Hayward. And now, Jalen Brown cuts through. Okay? He cuts through off this good Aaron Bain screen. He was so open that I didn't even notice. <laughs> like, I was so shocked that he got that open. Because... That first initial pass is really never there. But he's wide open. We get it to Brown. Now, there's no doubt in my mind. If I decided to go up with this, this was two points. This was a dunk. But the three-point shot is demoralizing. I know it. You know it. Anybody that plays basketball knows that. So, Clay, no respect for Terry Rozier and his uh, three-point shot. Absolutely no respect comes in to try to make the shot tougher in the paint. And I, I, I see that. I have to take that shot. You know, that's a wide open three. I have to take that shot, especially with this game being so momentum based. I feel like knocking down an open three uh, puts momentum on your side. Now I'm going to run it back from the top just so you guys can see how it flows. Now, in these other clips, these other clips, the offense may flow better. But this is just one example of the shots you can get, the opportunities you can get from this offense. Move the ball. Nothing's there. So we just, we just move the ball. That's it. This is not an offense for you to run ISO. You know, if you're, if you're going to run ISO, then, you know, you're going to get predictable. Your opponent will catch on, whether it be a CPU or a human player. They'll catch on to your stuff. You got to switch it up. You got to be diverse. Boom. Big shot. Big shot. Now, this next clip, like I said, there's no Kyrie in any of these clips. Uh, I don't want to make him a cog in the offense. And this is a better uh a better look at the setup of 41 corners. You got the big high post corner, player in the corner, play on the elbows, and a player at the top of the key. So we get it to Marcus Smart. Now, I I, I don't like running my offense through Marcus Smart, but um, like I said, we just move the ball. That's, that's it. I'm not asking him to do nothing else. Just move the ball. So... Rozier makes that first pass, and the first cut is made by Rozier to get to the lane. It's not there. Don't worry. There's no need to worry. You just be patient. 
Now we got a screen on the ball, and we have an off-ball screen. So we got Morris setting a screen for Gordon Hayward, and we have Horford setting a screen for Smart. Now, uh, Hayward doesn't get open. Horford sets a good screen. Problem here is Morris and Horford both roll to the rim, which I don't like. And Morris actually has the step on Draymond. They both actually have the step on their guys. But I don't want to make this pass because I feel like it might get too congested. I don't want to risk it or nothing like that. Uh, so we reset. There's still 11 seconds left on the shot clock. There's no need to panic. All right. So like I said, we reset. Now, I know Smart's a point guard or he's a guard, but I don't want to run my offense through Marcus Smart, especially late in the shot clock. So you see Rozier in the corner. We're going to swing it around to Rozier. Boom. And now we're going to run the offense over again. So now Gordon Hayward's going to cut through, get fouled, but they don't call it. And then uh, Horford's going to set a screen for Rozier. Now, it's the same motion. The difference this time, Marcus Morris cuts back to the top of the key. While Horford rolls to the rim, again, DeMarcus Cousins is left behind. And we make the pass and get the easy dunk. Now, I'm going to let this play in regular motion. So you, so you guys can see how the offense flows. It took me a while to get used to this offense, but uh, just move the ball. Yeah, that's all you got to do is move the ball and be patient. Don't force it. You force it, you'll get a turnover. Look at that. We're just moving the ball. We're just playing basketball, playing good team ball, trusting our teammates, and we get a dunk. Easy. Easy. You don't have to call nothing. You don't have to go to the playbook. You just move the ball. Third example. And for the third time, I'm going to say it, no Kyrie. All right, we got Marcus Smart. <laughs> got Marcus Smart. Look at Al Horford getting up. Now, we got a fast break opportunity. I don't like my chances, though, because of the personnel. Now, we got Gordon Hayward. He's pretty good. Terry Rozier. He's pretty good. I trust those two guys offensively. Marcus Smart. Eh. Nah, I don't trust Smart. Besides, look at the three Warrior players that are getting back. Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Iguodala. Three defensive-minded players. I'm not going to risk it. If Marcus Smart was Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum, maybe I get it to him. But for this example, we said nah. We're gonna take it back out. We're gonna reset. And we're gonna run the offense. See, that's what the CPU tries to do. They try to get you out of your element. They want you to speed it up. They want you to rush. They want you to make mistakes. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to run the offense. Now, in this particular example, I call for this screen. And this is another reason why I like this offensive set, because your center is right there. He's a step away from setting a good screen. And look, at he just steps in. But Golden State being Golden State, they play good defense. So we just rotate the ball. And set up the offense on the other side now. And we go through the same motion. Now, this is a foul. That's Quinn Cook, a point guard, holding back a power forward by the hips. That is a foul. But they don't call it. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I still make the pass because Draymond starts slapping the floor. Like an idiot. Uh, and Quinn Cook is the smaller guy. I, I get it to the bigger player. I feel like, you know, you can get it to the bigger player over the smaller player. But 
problem is I'm in a tough spot because by the time I get back on the ground catching the ball, DeMarcus Cousins is, is in front of me. And I only got four seconds left on the shot clock, so I got to make a decision. Clay is playing that zone, that area, pretty well. I can't get it to Marcus Smart because Iguodala is just going to snatch it. So I hope and pray <laughs> that Clay doesn't steal this pass that I'm trying to get to Rozier. And I get it to Rozier, but now since we moved the ball so well and Golden State got overly aggressive trying to get the steal, now they're out of position. And Al Horford just, you know, back pedals to the top of the key and gets an easy three-point shot with one second left on the shot clock. We literally used up every second on the clock to get the best shot available. And now this isn't normally the way I play. Uh, I normally get a ball-dominant guy and go pick and roll crazy, but with the new offensive sets, I've been able to play a more team-oriented game, at least on the demo. So let's go ahead and check it out in full speed. Uh, I think this is one of my one of my uh, more favorite highlights because uh, we got out of a jam. We we didn't we didn't allow you know bad spacing to uh, you know knock us off course. We still stuck to the plan, moved the ball, and got a great shot. Got a green. Got a three. It's always huge when you can get your bigs involved uh, in the in the three point game. All right, the last example. Again, Marcus Smart in at point guard. He's better suited for a team oriented uh offense than Kyrie is, in my opinion. I, I like like I said, I like using Kyrie in pick and roll situations, you know, two man game. Team you know, in a in an offense that involves everyone touching the ball, uh I I don't want Kyrie in that situation. I feel like I'm limiting him, you know. Uh, I don't want to limit Kyrie. I want to get the the most out of him. And this is how you get the most out of guys like Marcus Smart, you know. He can get an easy layup. But it's guarded right here. But it's all right. We get the screen from uh, Horford. But again, just like in the other example, him and Jason Tatum cut to the rim. They both roll. And Jason Tatum has Draymond close on his heels, so I don't make that pass. Same with Horford. He has DeMarcus Cousins right there by him, so it can easily be a turnover or a block shot, and we don't get any points. There's no need to worry. There's 12 seconds left. So we reset. We get it to Tatum at the top of the key. Now, usually right here, first glance, it looks like I uh, have a lane to the right, but... That's Draymond Green. That's Golden State on Superstar. The lane is taken away. And I feel like he's going to make me pick up my dribble. So to keep my dribble going, I go into uh, the back down position. Now, I'm not trying to back him down or nothing like that or muscle him and make it a one-on-one -on -one contest. No. I'm just trying to get in position so I can get the ball back to Jalen Brown. Now, we got six seconds left. Now, when we give the ball to Brown, they're going to run the two-man game, all right, which is which is fine because we actually get a good screen. That's a great screen by Jason Tatum. Now, Tatum is going to pop. He's going to fade out, which I'm fine with uh, because Jalen Brown actually ends up getting past Draymond Green. We get the momentum going towards the rim. We're able to push back DeMarcus Cousins. He doesn't stop us in our tracks no we we make him go back because we had the momentum going towards the rim and again we use up every second on the shot clock and let me give you a pro tip with the rpm in the game you don't always want to hold turbo there's no turbo being used right here i'm just using the left analog stick trying to get past draymond once i see that i'm past draymond then I hit the, the turbo button to get that acceleration. We get the momentum. 
and we go into the, into Demarcus Cousins and get the tough layup to go. Not really a tough layup. Uh, maybe that'll be tough for somebody like Marcus Smart, but I trust Jalen Brown, guys like Tatum, in those situations. So let's let's see this this clip from the top in in full speed. Look at that. Look at the motion, the patience. No need to force it. The drive's not there. That's all right. Get it back to Brown. Two man game. Tatum fades. We get by him. Boom. Beautiful. That's beautiful. The motion offense in this game is really, really good. If you know how to run the offense, you'll be fine. Now, I'm going to have a, here's a bonus example, a WNBA example of 41 corners. And we're going to get that three at the top of the key like we did with Al Horford, but in a different way. So we get it to Gray. Aguma K is going to set that screen. The initial cut's not there. She's going to come over and set the screen for Gray. Now, she's going to roll to the rim. Sylvia Fowles is hot on the tail. And, you know, this other defender comes over. I don't know her name. She comes over to make sure that she doesn't get an easy layup. Well, she made a bad decision because she left open Candace Parker. And even though we didn't get a green, it's a good shot. It's in the rotation. It's in the offense. And that's why it went in. You know, and plus Candace Parker is a great player. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's see it from the top. From the top. This is this is good basketball. You know, this is good basketball. You got to have a, a decent IQ to run an offense. Look at that. The screen's not there. I mean, the initial cut's not there. Fine. Get to the screener. It's an open shot. Boom. 41 corners. And as you can see, Candace Parker in that 41 corners is no joke. 20 points, 8 for 9, 4 for 4 from the three-point line. She's no joke. But that's 41 corners in NBA Live 19 with the motion on full. Highly recommend you go check it out. Add it to your repertoire. Have it in your back pocket. It'll help you against CPU. It'll help you against other users. If you play live run, hell, learn it. Get your homies together and learn how to use it in live run. You know? But this is your boy, Westby502, signing out. I'll be back maybe this weekend with a um, another video. I don't know what we'll do. We can do 3-2 triangle. Uh, we know what we might do to triangle. So, I'll see y'all then.